in my presentation called Makerspace for Astronomy with Stimulation in the Learning Ecosystem, the Old Observatory Leiden. I am Eva Lafay. You see this photo? That's me, a 10 year old, enjoying using new tools, carving a piece of wood for the first time of my life. I was so proud of what I had accomplished that day. A few years later, I learned how to solder and connect wires. I made my first remote controlled car. I was a curious kid and always interested in trying new tools and technologies. Were you also a curious kid? So now imagine a place full of tools and technologies you can use with your friends. You can build your own rocket, you can make your own telescopes and observe the stars, and you can create your own music based on constellations. You have fun while tinkering, you learn about astronomy, you feel safe to explore in this space and you have no fear of failing, but could accomplish whatever you desire. You are willing to explore and go beyond boundaries. As a better Bob Rhodes was saying, we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. These happy accidents lead you to serendipity. You understand phenomena, you get inspired by your teammates, change your own plans, you create the unexpected. So we, Sana, Maria, Pedro and I, Eva, members of the Astronomy and Society Group of Leiden Observatory, want to create such a place within the Old Observatory. We target the higher groups of primary school children through the 10 year old, because according to the DEL curriculum, they should learn about astronomy. But it's still open. Some schools cover a lot, while the others only the minimum. So by offering a program in the major space, we want to make sure that kids who might have interest in astronomy can practice it. But first, let me provide you some context. Astronomy education is a tool to instill science understanding and literacy to the general public. It is innately interdisciplinary. It combines biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer sciences, but also history, arts, project management, and global citizenship education. And interdisciplinary education is important because it allows students to generate innovative ideas by crossing boundaries and foster critical thinking as well as support collaborative skills. So by its interdisciplinary content and approach, astronomy can be a tool to implement STEAM education. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Mathematics. It has multiple advantages. It provides important skills and abilities for individual empowerment and social engagement. It also fosters a STEAM mindset. Learners can develop their skills through a variety of learning strategies and approaches. It encourages the process of the product, which leads to self-compassion and creativity. STEAM education also encourages hands-on activities. They promote design-based learning. The students learn by tinkering solutions to their own problem. They are empowered and involved. Yet, there is a problem in school settings. There is lack of time, resources, pedagogical knowledge and efficient collaboration among teachers of different disciplines. Moreover, children spend only 16% of their time in school, but 84% out of school. A key solution would be to see the strengths of the different elements in hands. A key solution could be the creation of a bridge between schools and astronomy and simulation in a meaningful way. This program would have a place in a learning ecosystem. A learning ecosystem is based on the fact that learning happens in different contexts and forms, not only in schools, but also at home or outside. By developing an after-school program, we would extend learners' opportunities to engage with astronomy and STEAM. As we have for clubs as music or sport, we can have science clubs to continuously simulate further development of children's interests and talents in these areas. An innovative way to engage with students in a learning ecosystem would be the creation of a makerspace. Ta-da! Remember when I've asked you to imagine a place full of tools and technologies you can use? Well, that's here. You can create meaningful collaborative projects, share excitement, have a sense of community. The activities are based on project-based learning. There are safe spaces where learners are encouraged to fail to test boundaries. 
so no mistakes, only happy accidents. Maker spaces support democratization and open access to science making. So we are looking into setting up an astronomy maker space for 10 year old children based on steam location and learning ecosystem in the old observatory of Leiden, the oldest remaining university observatory in the world. The research question I am working on is how can a maker space for astronomy promote steam education in a learning ecosystem in Leiden, the Netherlands? On the one hand, there is background research. I have carried a literature review and I'm also doing a case study about existing astronomy makerspaces. On the other hand, I am having interviews with different key actors, educators, teachers, children and their parents. By July, I would have fully a prototype of the physical makerspace and maker activities we could do a pilot test to test them on our target group. Today, I'm going to share with you some first preliminary results based on the case study that could be inspiring to set up an astronomy maker space. I looked into Raumschiff, situated in Switzerland, through the website and through an interview. This is rather a small structure, who notably aims at being a meeting place for everyone interested in space science. I also looked in the NASA Steam Innovation Lab in the US, through the websites and scientific papers. This is a bigger structure that notably aims at generally NASA content-based ideas. They both have in common to be inspirational, innovative and experimental places to increase science literacy and promote long-term engagement in STEAM careers. Both claim STEAM as the core of the pedagogy of their maker spaces. And as we saw in the introduction, the interdisciplinary is an important aspect of STEAM. My findings aligned with the literature we can define ways of promoting this through these three points. The human aspect, through the collaboration of different professions, artists, scientists, but also the tools and technologies, their accessibility, their proximity, so that it can foster connections and encourage blending. And then there is these hands-on activities. Tinkering is learning, said Karmschrift, but the parents don't acknowledge the value of tinkering. Children don't have time for tinkering anymore because they have to learn real things. So that leads us to the importance of embedding these new places in an existing network and thus a learning ecosystem. The importance of connecting what happened in this space to the daily life of children to reinforce the activities, to pursue feeling, the interest and enthusiasm of space sciences. The two astronomy maker spaces have two different approaches for the learning ecosystem. On the one hand, we have the NASA Steam Innovation Lab, who have actually partnerships with experts in curriculum who help to develop projects connected to the school system's requirement and to evaluate the impacts of their activities. Whereas on the other hand, we have Ramschrift that doesn't want to be connected to the curriculum, which is too strict, according to their opinion. So to reach out their audience, they have to go where the kids are, to their playgrounds. My research question being how can a maker space for astronomy promote STEM education in the learning ecosystem in Leiden, the Netherlands, require some more qualitative analysis. But some avenues to foster STEM in the astronomy maker space could be to make the most of the human resources among educators and collaborations, but also of tools accessibility. To ensure the learning ecosystem, it is worth continuing research to align previous findings to the case of the Netherlands, more specifically. So, in what learning ecosystem could you envision an astronomy makerspace? Have you ever been to a makerspace? If you have any ideas for great activities, remarks or suggestions, Know about other makerspaces for astronomy? Please contact me at this email address. Thank you very much.